Hi, welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke, and welcome to your monthly tarot forecast for April 2015. These are generalized tarot readings for the general public view. If you'd like something more in-depth and private, tailored for you, you can head on over to my website at nightbirdtarot.wordpress.com to see the readings that I do offer. And please remember to watch for your sun, your rising, and your moon sign. And this reading is for Capricorn. And Capricorn, I hope you had a great month in March. And we're heading into April, which I'm very happy about. Because where I'm from, it's springtime. It's getting warmer out. And things are starting to regrow and get green again. And I'm very happy because I was a little grouchy towards the end of winter. I was becoming a grouch. So, yay! So anyway, Capricorns, I pre-shuffled your cards right before the video, so I'm going to lay them out with you. So let's get started and see what's in store for you for April. Interesting. You have the same card that Gemini and Scorpio had, of course, in Scorpio had this card and Gemini had this card in different positions, but it did come up for them. But in your atmospheric elements or the attributes for the month of April for Capricorn is looking towards the future is opportunities, is waiting for your ship to come in, is planning ahead, is also planning ahead with another person, okay? Expending those energies of planning your future or looking towards the future for something. So really cultivating a sense of whether this is something to do with an enterprise or a business or a creative type of endeavor, but waiting for your ships to come in and waiting for you to have your chance at something that you're really wanting to get off the ground or have a foundation of or a project that you're doing, really wanting to really focus. You're focused on that this month, Capricorns, of that goal or that project and it's indicated by the three of wands this is your focus for the month this is in your atmospheric elements position you're really looking towards the future you can see you can see your ships come in even if they're not yet you're projecting that you're imagining that you're manifesting that and you're really wanting that to come into your life for april whatever that may be tied to Whatever you've been working again, once again, slow, steady progress with, keep going. Don't give up. You have the nine of, Knight of Pentacles, which has appeared in your reading, and it's a card of slow, steady progress on a project, okay? This is something that may take time. This is something that may take a lot of endurance and patience with as well, where there have not necessarily, you have not seen results from yet, but you will start to see results from possibly in the month of April. This could be something to do with, once again, a creative project, a, a job opportunity, your career, uh, something in tied in terms of money, investments start to roll in. You will start to see progress from this. Something may start to get off the ground for the month of April. So you will start to see progress from this, especially in the month of April. Whatever this is, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of emotional connection for you in this, and you have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is all about high, intense emotion, new beginnings, this could be even new beginnings in relationships, this could be new beginnings in love, this could be uh, a burst of energy, a burst of passion. This could be inspiration. This could be creative inspiration. Something on an emotional level that's very important to you. 
the spiritually emotional spiritually tied to your heart okay that's what I'm getting whatever this is is very important to you Capricorns and you've put a lot of blood sweat and tears into it and a lot of heart and a lot of love is dedicated to this project whatever this may be it could be on any type of level in your life is very important for you and you're really dedicated to it in the month of April once again you are determined to bust through any obstacles or challenges noted you have another major arcana card and it's the chariot actually this is your only major arcana card the chariot's all about overcoming obstacles overcoming challenges this can also literally mean travel by car keep that in mind of course we all travel by car every day but this could even be travel uh, short distance travel even so something indicative of really not letting anything stand in your way you're determined you're on you're focused you're on the you're on the course and nothing is going to steer you in another direction I just get the sense for Capricorn that you're very focused nothing's going to sway you and this is what you want and this is what you're going towards and you're really looking towards the future and you're really plotting your direction you're planning your direction with this is with what you're wanting to start or with what you're wanting to create or project or work on at the same time you may have to leave something behind you do have a card of walking away from something or a final exit or a final ending from something and this is more or less a relationship this is a relationship with other people this is not necessarily a relationship a one-on-one -on -one relationship and this is the eight of cups and the eight of cups came up for Virgo but in a different position the eight of cups for my studies and I've stated this before takes about a lunar cycle so whatever you're wanting to possibly leave may take a month's time 28 days to a month's time this is something on an emotional level for you that you've given a lot of your time your heart your emotional well-being to something that you've been very passionately involved in you may find yourself walking away from it in order to possibly proceed and go into this other direction that you want to take on a passionate creative type of level and it can also indicate leaving past behaviors behind so for instance Here's an example. You've been struggling with your weight. You want to lose weight, and you're determined to do it this time. And you're starting to see progress this month where possibly you haven't noticed that you look a little bit different. Others are starting to notice that you've slimmed down. You're feeling better. Your attitude's better. You really feel like nothing can stand in your way. And you have to leave these past habits or these past behaviors behind in order to keep going that's an example okay so whatever it is for you Capricorns that you're very focused upon in April that you're very passionate about in April you're going to start to see steady progress from this others are going to notice and nothing's going to stand in your way about this at all you're very focused you're very diligent, you're very hardworking, very disciplined. Capricorns are very disciplined people, very hardworking people, and very notable upon themselves, as if they don't feel like they're always questioning their self-worth. Am I good enough? I'm not. I have to do better. I have to do better. And you're always pushing yourself to do better. And with that frame of mind you're going to see success and for April especially for Capricorn I think that in order to carry this on 
you may really have to let some certain things go. So just keep that in mind. So good luck to you Capricorns. Have a great month in April. I'll be back next month. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.